Yeah. Uh, here they are, lined up for the final. No braid's going to go over and shake the pink's hands, I believe. Kyle McQuillan leading his team out. He's been great all season. Zed Idstein, Trinity Moore, Connor Gibbs, Shree Blackwell and Liam Butler there. Come past the referee now. Riley Hall is going to lead his team out. He'll have Sam Couchy, Braden Hutchison, Byron, Ruby Vanderwell and Lisa Matimbira on their team. 6v6, it's the final of our six-a-side competition here at Rutherford High School, Year 10 TSP Football. Woo! Yeah! Pink with an early shot there, just to get some possession, and now up they go. Liam Butler in goals, looks like Kyle McQuillan's gonna take up that centre back role he's very familiar with. Connor Gibbs on the left hand side now. First opportunity here for no braids, can Connor score? Peter's down to nothing, will be a goal kick there for Ruby. What are your thoughts on the match so far, Katie? Who do you think's got the early upper hand? Um, no braids, probably. No braids. Mia, who do you think's got this one in the bag? One for no braids, one for pink. I'm going to remain on the fence here. It all depends if this man is in the mood or not. Riley Horse can dribble with the Brace ball. Here's his first opportunity here as Kyle comes towards the pinks. Treads on the ball. Has options to keep the ball. Goes forward himself. Oh, creates a yard of space. And first goal of the final. Kyle McQuillan, no braids. One, nil. Yeah, Kyle, woo! Oh, Ruby was um, trying to get out of the way of that That's shot. It was so ferocious. Pink's now with it all to do here. Pizza party on the line for the winning team. They're 1-0 down. What have they got? Riley maintains possession here. Braden Hutchison back to right back. Sam Couchy's made a fantastic run forward. Has the ball now in the opposition third. The softball. Can Braden knock a good ball in? Trouble. Butler comes and claims that. Fairly easily. How do you think the no braids can get back into this game now, Katie? They're 1 0 up. Can they consolidate and go 2 0 up here? Yeah, probably if they keep possession of the ball. They've got possession now with Gibbs in a good position. Trips over the ball. Thought he was Lionel Messi for a moment there. Turns out he's not. Lisa can make a tackle. One of our best performing females so far in this competition. Here's the other one with the ball now. Sheree Blackwell with a great ball up to Trinity Moore. Intercepted by Riley Hawes. And this is trouble now. Riley making forward movements. Couchy with a good run into the centre. Lisa in plenty of space on the edge of the D. McQuillan blocks that shot. Can he get a crossover now? Couchy unmarked in the centre. Good tackle, Zed Idstein. And keeps the ball well. Trinity retains possession back to Kyle there, and the Pinks don't look like they've got an answer at the moment for the non braids Consistent spell of possession. And another goal, 2 0 in the final. Pinks need to get their defensive shape sorted ASAP. What can the Pinks do differently here, Katie? 2 0 down, three minutes in. It's a long game. Yeah. Keep get a bit stronger at the back line, I reckon. Back line, a bit stronger. Riley yeah. looks like he's making some good forward movements here with the ball. Pink look like now they have a back line of three as Couchy almost takes a shot there against Liam Butler. Good release by Liam. Trinity under pressure though. Well in Byron. Nah, great ball there now for Lisa Machimbira going through. It's a terrific ball from Couchy. Oh, shouts of a penalty. Not quite. Lisa maintains possession with a step over. Quality retainment there from Lisa. Good ball to Riley. Can he get a sight on goal? Byron now. Ball in a dangerous spot. Here's Pink's first real possession of the game. Seven, eight passes now. Good ball well. Can they penetrate the no grades? Long ball there from Braden. Riley very, very upset with the outcome of that one. And Conan Kibbs kicks the ball out. So the no braids under the cosh here a little bit, Katie. How do you think the kicks are going now? They think they're going up a little bit. Still a bit lacking at the back, I reckon. Yeah. Definitely no team talk before the game there from them. No. No defensive organisation as Riley makes a run through the centre now. 1v1. Great strike of the ball. And a great goal, Riley Hawes. In off both. Post. Woo! Wow. Yeah. 
We said in the pre-game, Katie, that this man was capable of wonderful things. How did you rate that goal? It was pretty good. Eight. An eight? Yeah. Eight out of eight, I reckon. That was sensational. <laughs> Pinks back in the game. 2-1 to the no grades. Quality defence there from Warren, Trinity, Connor and Kyle, all in the exact same patch of grass. Kyle through on goal, Braden, clutch save there from Hutchison and the ball goes out for a no braids free kick. All of a sudden we've got a little bit of excitement here, Katie. Oh, Sherry takes a tumble down, a tackle. Riley Horse, fast feet, unleashes Lissa in the front third there, Connor too quick around the back. Here's Ruby Vanderwell's first touch. It's a great pass there to Lisa. Pink with absolutely no support up for Lisa though. No braids. Almost a back to the wall drop here. Four behind the ball. One forward only. Trinity Moore very isolated up the top there. Here's trouble. Strike. No goal. No braids. Running out of ideas all of a sudden. How can they retain the ball do you think, Dave? Keep the possession up. They can retain the ball by keeping their possession up. You've heard it here first. Wise words there from our expert commentator, Katie Rose Harwood. A fantastic turn from Riley Hawes. And he's away. Lisa Machabira in space. Riley offs for the shot. That is woeful. Well, his first strike on goal was an 8 out of 8. Katie, what do you rate that one? Zero. <laughs> Zero. <laughs> Shocking. <laughs> Great interception there from Byron. Now the no braids under the cosh. Can he run with the ball? Pass that in steam. Good cover defense from Connor Gibbs. And he's outrun his opponent there. Straight down the left hand side. Ruby could be in a bit of trouble here. Great tackle, Ruby Vanderwell. Another great tackle from Ruby. Oh, Couchy releasing the ball too quickly there. Riley can't get forward. He goes Z on one of those lung-busting runs up the left-hand side. That touch gets away from him. And now, if they can break quickly, Riley is 1v1 with McQuillan up the top. Not a great distribution there from Braden. I'm sure he'll improve as the match goes on in his new role and goalkeeper there. Oh, that is the throw to match Riley's earlier shot. <laughs> Not McQuillan's finest work there. I'm sure he'll be upset with himself. Great work there. And half time in the final. 2-1 to no braids. Early goals to Cole McQuillan. Riley Hawes getting the pinks back into the game. Pinks are still got it all to do in the second half though. 